Hi everybody, it's Gina here from Euphoria Soapworks and today I'm going to be making um, a peach soap. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to name it yet. It might be something like Peachy Keen or Peaches and Dreams or something, but this is the first time I've worked with this fragrance, um, so we'll see how it behaves. It's supposed to behave pretty well, but I'm not too sure, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and um, pour my lye water here. <clears throat> This is <clears throat> going to go down my spatula, hopefully, just to reduce the bubbles, which I find only really affect your soap once it's been kind of blended together. Um, you know, when the bubbles are in the oil phase, still it uh, doesn't really, they can escape a lot easier. It's not as viscous. So, <clears throat> they're able to go ahead and escape. So what I'll probably do is just give this a little stir here. Let that, let those air bubbles kind of come to the surface. I'm making a couple batches of soap today, so I'm going to have to split this off. I'm trying to burp the stick blender so we don't get any air trapped under the blades. And here we go. want to over stick blend. I think um, people who have difficulty with uh, their soap batter getting too thick um, probably over blend or haven't chosen a fragrance that is really workable. Sometimes there are variables you don't foresee so you just do the best you can. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and separate this out into the different containers that I need. So I'll pause you for just a second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my cream into this batch. <clears throat> I, if I'm using cream or, well, typically if I'm using cream, I will add it because it's, you know, very rich, has a lot of fat. I'll add it at about 3 or 4% of my um, oils. So that way it makes it nice and creamy. It, it increases your super fat, but it doesn't end up being too greasy. <clears throat> And you can put your cream in your oils and you don't need to do any you don't need to add your goat's milk or your cream or any of that stuff that actually scorches um, you don't need to add that to your lye water just <laughs> add it in after you've um, blend it up your batter or you can add it into your oils but definitely in my opinion don't add it to your lye water it just scorches so it'll all blend up beautifully in the end and there's no need <clears throat> you also don't have to add your super fat after the fact um, I never understood why anybody did that since it's just a percentage of of your recipe. So um, 
it's just really a percentage of, it's like a lye discount, really. If you have less lye, you're going to have more free oil in your batch. So it doesn't matter when you add it in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour this off into I'm making three separate colors here I'm not going to be exact about it I am um, Sometimes if, I, if I'm layering a soap, I'll be exact so that I have the layers correct. But if I'm just making a swirl, I won't worry about it. Okay. So I'm going to set that off to the side. We're going to mix in the base colorant. <clears throat> That's pretty. And I'm going to use a little titanium dioxide. I mix mine with oil. You can get your titanium dioxide um, with that mixes with water. I just don't prefer to do that because I like to water discount and I also don't like any potential of glycerin rivers and I also like to super fat my soaps. So um, I don't over super fat but I do like to have a little free oil in there so that it's nice and moisturizing for the skin. Okay, that's about the color I'm looking for there. Now we're going to go for the dramatic orange. This colorant is called, let's see, um, Adobe Orange, I believe, from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It's beautiful, but I've never used it before, so we'll see how it performs. Oh. Isn't that just gorgeous? All right. This orange is called Orange Salsa, also from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have never used this one before either. This will be the first time. Wow, and that is just beautiful as well. I think I'm gonna add a touch of titanium dioxide though, just to <clears throat> provide a little more of a different color between the two. Oh, so pretty. <clears throat> Um, when I have small um, portions like this, sometimes it's easier to just hand stir something in because if you try to stick blend it in, it can make a lot of unnecessary bubbles. And now I'm just doing titanium dioxide for the white portion of my soap. Okay, so I need to put in the fragrance, and we're in business. I think I'm going to do just a touch more of this gorgeous orange. This is a, a blend of um, micas and titanium dioxide that I used to get this kind of a peachy color. <clears throat> so pretty. Okay. Let me go ahead and get the 
fragrance oil going here. Just a moment. Okay, so now I'm going to put the fragrance in. <clears throat> I'm going to stir this in as well. If you're worried about um, fragrances not performing well or accelerating trace, you can always just stir them in. And that will slow everything down for you. This is not the best container here to be <sighs> pouring from. Wow. Mm. So pretty. But this fragrance is supposed to behave rather well, so hopefully we'll not have any issues there. Um, this one looks pretty darn orange to me, so I'm going to add a little... Lighten that up just a touch. To the color that I was looking for. And that's pretty. The batter's staying pretty fluid, so that's great. I think we'll have time for swirls. There we go. Not quite as crazy as it was. Can be a messy job. But just so much fun. All right, I think we're about ready to go ahead and pour. <clears throat> you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and give this another stir off camera here. And uh, it smells pretty darn good. Just need a little bit more fragrance. I like to be conservative with the fragrance when I start out and then see how it smells in the batter. And if it smells <clears throat> pretty good, I'll leave it alone. Otherwise, I'll add a little bit more. Staying within my usage rates, of course, but sometimes if you put a little too much in, it can cause your soap batter to do some funny stuff. So here we go. And we're going to go in with the dark. And I'm just going to kind of do a little <clears throat> Drippity drop, kind of swirly here. <clears throat> oh, so pretty. I love peaches. It's peach season here, and I am just getting really excited about 
getting some fresh peaches on the tree at my mom's house. She she grows um, all of her own peaches and she has several different ones for different times of the year. <clears throat> so that she has a spring peach and a summer peach and a fall peach. She loves peaches too, so. All right, let's get the rest of this in and then we're gonna <clears throat> do our little hanger swirl here. Mm. This smells so good. Okay, we're getting kind of messy, so. <clears throat> Let me get a towel and wipe this off. All righty, so here we go. Hopefully that'll give us a decent swirl. <clears throat> when you're doing a hanger swirl, you really can just do circles um, around and around. And um, it gives you a pretty decent swirl. Nothing really crazy to it. Let me get the last of this batter in here. Smells so good. Sorry about the noise. I need to. Well, my camera always uh, likes to turn off right in the middle of filming, but here is the swirled soap. And I was just saying that I like to. Uh, I'm going to have to set this up a little bit because I'm going to put some melt and pour peaches on top. So I will um, go ahead and wait for that. I'll pause for that and then we'll come back. Okay, so now I'm gonna put these cute little melt and pour peaches on here. Aren't those cute, those little peach slices? I'm gonna have to turn this soap this way so I can see what I'm doing here. Normally I would be wearing gloves, but I can't get the precision I need with gloves on. I We'll get everything splattered everywhere. So don't try this at home, kids, unless you're really experienced. And even then, you should be following proper safety protocols because lie burns don't feel good. Fresh soap batter, I should say. I haven't had straight lye on my skin, but fresh soap batter just burns like the Dickens. I am loving these peaches. Oh, looky here. I'm one short. Isn't that funny? 
<clears throat> so this is what it looks like. Let's see if you can see that up close. This is the peachy keen or peaches and dreams or whatever we'll decide to call it. But it smells amazing. Anyway, this one should be ready in about four weeks. And of course I will um, let y'all know on Instagram and I'll, my shop is linked. So you can just go ahead and purchase if you like. Um, and uh, I will leave you a message as to when I'm gonna do that. But anyways, you guys have a great day. It's so much fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, and we will try to have some new content for you as soon as we can. This is kind of a quick impromptu video um, because I still don't have my space available. So pardon the lighting and, uh, and the, the small space. But we're doing the best we can for now. Anyway, have a great day. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's Gina from Euphoria Soapworks and I'm here to cut the peach soap. Now my setup is a little tight for space, so I pardon the pardon the uh, the lighting and the lack of space here, but we'll try to get this going so at least you can see the cut on the inside. And I'm using my um this is the beast. This is a a slab cutter. But I like to use it to cut um, single bars because it just cuts straight through. It doesn't drag anything through the soap, um, like through the middle. So this is really kind of my go-to um, cutter now. Eventually my husband will make uh, a multi-cutter slab cutter for me so that I can cut the slabs into single bars. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and give this a go and we'll see what it looks like on the inside and um, just washed my hands so everything is clean and wiped down and uh, let's give it a go Ooh. See if you can see that one up close. I think at least the end piece turned out really pretty. <clears throat> Sometimes the end pieces I've noticed have the best swirls, but we will continue on. Okay. And I always like to clean my wire um, after I t uh, cut it, cut the soap. I just don't like having all that excess soap dragged through. <clears throat> well, that's really pretty. Let's see if you can see that one. I've got a nice beautiful swirl on the inside, nice and peachy. So I was <clears throat> I was hoping for that. That orange that I used, that Adobe orange is gorgeous, but sometimes oranges and yellows can morph and they usually change back. But I just didn't want to have it so bright, so I think it turned out just perfect. The soap is still a little soft. <clears throat> I was over anxious. <clears throat> There's the cut again. Let's see if you can see that up close. Mm. It just smells so peachy. It's hard to find a good peach scent because it, 
can either smell like fake peaches or kind of chemically or it won't stick in the soap, but I have high hopes for this one, so we'll see how it does. Mm -hmm. And I just adore the peach slices in the melt and pour. I didn't have a um, a peach mold, but what I ended up doing was using an orange slice mold and then just turning it over. See that cute little peach slice there? Mm. So I think it worked out just fine. Sometimes you have to improvise. They don't make everything you want. <laughs> Especially when I first started out soaping, there was hardly anything to be found. And as I'm sure most of you know, I've had to hit up the cake making section in a lot of stores using cake decorating molds and tools. It hasn't really hit the soaping industry as much yet, but I'm sure it is on track to do that. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love that little bit of gold shimmer there. Just adds a, a nice little touch. Okay. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop at that. I'll let you guys go ahead and see the cut after it's beveled. Um and that way you can see the finished product and uh, I'll post that on Instagram and you all can see that. Anyway, have a wonderful day and thanks for hanging out with me while I cut this peach soap. I'm still trying to come up with a name. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure something out soon. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.